Failure to use the naked holster with the proper firearm and in its intended manner could result in the user accidentally discharging the firearm, causing bodily injury and or death to the user or others. This video is not a concealed carry course and should not be treated as such. This is a product tutorial video and should not be used in place of a concealed carry class. Proper concealed carry knowledge and understanding is necessary before using this product. If you do not have proper firearm safety training, including proper concealed carry techniques, please do not attempt to use the naked holster. Do not use the naked holster if your firearm has an aftermarket trigger, light, laser, rail adapter, or trigger weight that has been modified in any way. If you are unfamiliar with your firearm or are unsure of its current configuration and or origin, do not use the naked holster. If you decide to carry with a round in the chamber, that is your personal responsibility. Remember, we are handling firearms here and accidental discharges can and do happen with or without holsters. If firearm users are not properly trained and diligent, there is always the possibility that a finger, piece of clothing, or foreign object can find its way into the trigger well and engage the trigger. Additionally, there are countless scenarios that can apply unexpected forces to your firearm and produce unintended results while concealed carrying, such as dropping the weapon, car accidents, falling, collisions, etc. Be sure to check out all of the warnings regarding the naked holster on our website, www.essentialholsters.com. Before using your naked holster, it is important to realize that these holsters are designed for routine daily carry by experienced firearm users. They are not designed and should not be used for shooting competitions, tactical scenarios, firearm security locks, or child safety devices. The following tutorials are designed to demonstrate how to safely and properly use your naked holster with your firearm. There are dozens of different naked holster design configurations and each design is different for a reason. To ensure that each specific holster interacts properly with the design and dimensions of the factory trigger guard of the specific firearm for which it was designed. Using the wrong naked holster with your firearm could lead to you accidentally engaging the trigger and discharging the firearm. The naked holster is abrasive to some firearm materials and finishes. If you want your firearm to look like it has never been used, this holster is not for you. To ensure a proper fit between your naked holster and your firearm, first locate the holster index number that is on the front of the belt clip of your holster. Next, cross-reference your holster index number with the holster index on our website, link in the description, to confirm that your naked holster is compatible with your firearm. While some naked holsters are compatible with multiple firearms, others are only compatible with one firearm. There is not a naked holster design configuration for every handgun on the market. If you do not see your firearm listed in the holster index next to the holster index number on the belt clip of your holster, or if you cannot confirm that your firearm, including its trigger pull weight, is unmodified from its factory configuration, do not attempt to use the naked holster with the firearm. Let's use this naked holster to demonstrate. If we look on the front of the belt clip, we can see the number 5 marked on the holster. If we then go to the holster index, we can see which firearm or firearms this holster was designed to fit. The Sig Sauer P365X is listed on the holster index next to the number 5, and I know that this firearm has not been modified from its factory configurations. Now I know that I have the correct holster for this specific firearm. I also now know that my naked holster can be used with the other firearms listed next to number 5 on the holster index. If you need help determining what firearm or firearms your holster is compatible with, please message Essential Holsters on Facebook, link is in the description. Once you have confirmed that your naked holster is compatible with your firearm, you are ready to learn how to safely use your holster with your firearm. The naked holster is different from other concealed carry holsters on the market, and understanding the proper way to holster, attach, and draw your firearm is important to your safety and requires practice. It is important to understand that the naked holster was designed to be connected to your firearm prior to attaching the holster to your belt or drawstring. Do not attempt to holster your firearm while your holster is already attached to your belt or drawstring. There is only one correct way to holster your firearm using your naked holster. First, make sure that both the holster and the firearm's trigger well are free of any foreign objects. Next, take your firearm in your shooting hand, pointing in a safe direction with your index finger extended along the frame of your firearm above the trigger guard. 
Then, hold your naked holster and your support hand with the holster index number in the upright position and slide the holster over the front of your firearm's trigger guard. Finally, visually inspect that the holster is sealed around the trigger guard without any visible gaps. When properly positioned, no portion of your naked holster's bottom edge should protrude below your firearm's trigger guard. The naked holster is designed to only be used while wearing clothing with a tied drawstring or a belt. Before using the naked holster, you must ensure that it will work properly with your drawstring or belt. For each outfit you choose to carry with, practice with an unloaded weapon to make sure the firearm will stay tight to your body and draw, leaving the holster behind on your belt or tied drawstring. Some drawstrings can be too thin for the naked holster to work properly. During practice, if the holster comes off of your waistband even once when drawing, do not use the naked holster with that particular piece of clothing. If your holstered weapon does not remain tight to your body, or if your holster does not remain in place after drawing, you should try different clothing or belt combinations. Practice as many times as it takes to ensure a proper fit. It is possible to snag your belt clip, and with extreme forces, it can deform. If your holster is deformed, do not use it. Only use your naked holster with belts that are less than 1 quarter of an inch thick and 1.6 inches tall. Traditional gun belts are typically too thick and tall to work well with our holster. We at Essential Holsters have found that the Grip 6 belt works the best for us. We like their American-made product so much that we have put an affiliated link in the description. Before attaching your holstered firearm to your belt or drawstring, you should know that the aggressive teeth of your holster's belt clip can damage belt materials and fabrics. The teeth are aggressive so that when you draw to use your firearm, you can have confidence that your naked holster will remain properly positioned. If you want your clothing or belt to stay in pristine condition, this holster is not for you. Now that you have your firearm properly holstered and are wearing the proper attire, it is time to attach your holstered firearm to your belt or drawstring. Attaching your holstered firearm to your belt or drawstring can be difficult for some users in the beginning. It is different from other holsters on the market, but it should get much easier with practice. Please see the fitment guide on our website and choose an approved carry position. The naked holster is designed to be worn only inside the waistband with a belt or tie drawstring at the appendix, small of the back, or the three to five o'clock hip carry positions. The naked holster is not ambidextrous. Check out the fitment guide to help determine if you need a right or a left hand holster as it can vary depending on your chosen carry position. Do not apply the holster over a belt loop. Do not use the naked holster in any other way. For example, outside of your waistband, on your boot, or backpack. Once you have chosen an appropriate carry position, start with your holstered firearm in your shooting hand. Next, use your support hand to pinch your drawstring or belt together with the waistband of your pants and pull outward away from your body. You will now slide the muzzle of your firearm between your body and clothing, keeping the muzzle pointed in a safe direction and ensuring that the ramp of the belt clip makes contact on the outside of your belt or drawstring. Finally, make sure you push down firmly and lock the teeth of your holster's belt clip past your belt or drawstring. You are now concealed carrying with the naked holster. Once your holstered weapon is attached inside your waistband, do not readjust it by sliding it around and do not undo your belt or drawstring before removing your firearm. If you need to draw to utilize your firearm or remove your firearm to safely store it, use your support hand to clear any articles of clothing or possible obstructions out of the path of the firearm. Then, use your shooting hand to grasp the grip of your firearm with your index finger extended along your firearm's frame above the trigger well and pull straight up forcefully. The naked holster is designed to have firm retention and require an aggressive upward pull to release. Remember to always be mindful of your firearm's trigger and muzzle direction when drawing or removing your firearm. To remove your naked holster from your drawstring or belt, we recommend that you first draw your firearm and either place it in a safe location or transfer the firearm to your support hand, keeping your fingers away from the trigger and making sure the muzzle is pointed in a safe direction. Then, use your index or middle finger of your shooting hand to pull the ramp of your holster's belt clip away from your body, applying upward pressure to guide the teeth of the belt clip off and over your belt or tied drawstring. It is normal for the holster to flip out on drawstring clothing after drawing the firearm. 
it is easy to feel this in your hand and flip the holster back over before proceeding with normal removal techniques. With practice, removing the naked holster becomes faster and easier. Do not attempt to reholster the weapon while your holster is still attached to your belt or drawstring. If for any reason your firearm becomes dislodged from the holster, draw and remove it, bringing the holster back to the firearm and then reapply. Do not push it back in for any reason. With a naked holster, the holstering process is always the same. You must bring the holster to the firearm. This is the biggest difference between the naked holster and conventional holsters. Bringing the holster to the firearm is a positive feature of the naked holster because you have full view of both your firearm and your holster and you are ensuring that your firearm's trigger is covered during the process of attaching it to your belt or drawstring. We at Essential Holsters hope that the techniques shared in this tutorial are helpful. Make sure that you have practiced and are comfortable with your naked holster before carrying in public. Please remember that we are happy to answer any questions you may have. At Essential Holsters, we strive to make quality products in America that will assist you in protecting your family. We greatly appreciate all of our clients. Thank you so much for the support. Please be safe with your firearms and always carry the essentials.